Annabelle Chong, also known as Grace Crack. Her original name was born on the 22nd of May 1972 in Singapore. She is a former pornographic actress now living in the United States. She became famous for engaging in 251 sex acts with around 70 men over a 10-hour period in January 1995, setting a world record with the resulting footage being packaged as the world's biggest gangbang. She is also the subject of the documentary Sex, the Annabelle Chong Story. A Biography of Annabelle Chong Chong was born and raised in Singapore, where she attended CHRJ Opera Estate Primary School, Raffles Gold School Secondary and Hua Chong Junior College, after which she studied law in London under a scholarship. During this time, she was gang raped in a rubbish store under an inner city housing block. At the age of 21, she went on to graduate studies in photography, art and feminist studies at the University of Southern California, where she excelled academically. She also began working on pornographic films. She went on to do her graduate work in gender studies at USC and currently works as a successful web designer. She is also an artist who has exhibited at a group show in New York City. She presented her work in pornography as an attempt to challenge the settled notions and assumptions viewers have about female sexuality. And as a result, she was not a popular performer among reviewers seeking titillation. For example, her conception of gangbang was based on the story of Messalina, the wife of the Emperor Claudius. Historically, Messalina suffered a poor reputation, a fact that some attribute to gender bias. Chong sought to question the double standard that denies women the, inab the ability to exhibit the same sexuality as men by modelling what a female stud would be. Skeptics suggest that, in reality, she merely brought art school pretension into a depiction of the culturally embedded slut stereotype. Other critics note that one can hold up historical gender biases for scrutiny without having sex with, with 70 men on camera. For her performance, Chong earned a dubious achievement award in Esquire magazine. The Pornography Career of Annabelle Chong Annabelle began her career in porn when she entered an advertisement in LA Weekly which led to a photo shoot and then an interview with director John T. Bone. Bone, recognizing Chong's talent, embarked on producing a series of films starring her. She was the new hardcore princess in her early gangbangs such as Sergeant Packer's Lonely Heart, Club Gangbang, and I Can't Believe I Did the Whole Team. In Anal Queen and Depraved Fantasies No. 3, Annabelle took hardcore pornography to a new level when she pioneered on-camera triple penetration. The production that propelled Annabelle into the limelight was another J. John T. Bones production, The World's Biggest Gangbang. Chong advertised on adult television for 300 participants for the event. Even though only 70 or so participants turned up, this still caused a sensation in the pornographic world. As well as being the single, the single largest grouping of men ever in a pornographic film, Annabelle had started a new trend. There were to be even more big gangbangs, but none were as famous. Even though the movie is one of the highest grossing movies in the porn industry, Annabelle was never paid the full US $12,000 she was promised, which was supposed to cover her USC expenses. After the event, Annabelle made a host of media appearances, including the Jerry Springer show. In her March 2000 appearance on the radio program Loveline, Annabelle admitted that there were slightly fewer than 70 men in a gangbang and that there were water and lunch breaks during the 10-hour time span. The sensation caught the interest of a university film student, Go Lewis. Go met Annabelle and embarked on producing a documentary about her. Sex, the Annabelle Chong story, propelled Annabelle further into the world media as the documentary became a hit at the 1999 Sundance Film Festival, where it was nominated for a grand jury prize. Annabelle continued to work in the porn industry for a short while, directing and starring in movies as well as setting up a website. She has since retired from porn. According to the most recent archived version of her website, as of May 2003, she is a website designer and programmer. 
She has declined media interviews since leaving the porn industry. In 2007, Toy Factory Productions Singapore Theatre Group produced a play called 251 based on the life of Grace Quack and covering her journey from student to porn star to web designer.